We talked a little bit about GAs last time. We talked a little. We had this little brief interlude about common recurrent optimization. And just because I didn't talk about it for more than one class doesn't mean it's like not going to be on some test or something. But um, we talked about how a genetic <laughs> algorithm maintains a population of solutions. Maybe I really even should have drawn the solutions that were not selected to be crossed over. You know, there's a whole population here of, of other solutions. And we just chose two. Maybe we, there, there are various selection criteria you can use. You might choose the best two, or you might flip a coin that's a biased coin that is more likely to select the ones that are, have the, the best costs. And then you combine these, these good-looking solutions in some way to, to get uh, children. And someone asked, how do you find the neighbors of the resulting combinations? So these two look good. We, create, we, we choose some way of combining them. Maybe we pick this way. We choose a crossover point here. We generate the two new solutions. We put those two new solutions back in the population. Now the population's too big, so survival the fittest. Maybe you roll some way to die, and with some probability, you select ones preferentially that are, have higher cost and throw them out. Now it might be the two that you just put in, but it might be the parents, or it might be some other ones. Um, who knows? Um, so now we have a population again. And so if these two end up surviving in the population to the next generation, <laughs> so to speak, um, and they get selected to be crossed over, what, is, what, 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 is, what does neighborhood mean? What is the search neighborhood here? Um, can anyone help answer this end of lecture question that was asked? Dan. Let's talk about neighborhood. What the hell is a search neighborhood? Let's just talk about it with hill climbing. Remember, I always climb my hills going down because uh, we're trying to lower cost. Um, what's If I have some solution somewhere, let's say I've got a solution right here, and cost right there. So does everyone understand what this picture represents? Somehow I've, got, I've arranged all the possible <coughs> vectors in n-dimensional space onto a single line. Um, and I have a solution. And the neighbors are going to be, if I'm just doing local search, local hill climbing, what are the neighbors of a solution going to be? What, is that, what does that even mean? What are the neighbors of a solution or the search neighborhood for hill climbing? Some like some metric that yeah, yeah. So it's, it's always if you want to be all abstract and stuff, then yeah, we can talk about <laughs> metrics and stuff. But if you want to be pragmatic about it, it's just like heuristic search for shortest path problems, for planning problems. Like you've got operators that generate possible children. And in, in, an in a best first search like ASTAR, we generate all the kids and they go on open. Um, in hill climbing, uh, there might be a lot of potential kids. The neighborhood is the selection of possible kids, really. It's where can I get to from here? What are possible solutions can I reach by making a some whatever modification my operators allow me to make? So um, if we have a traveling salesman problem, maybe the operator is to swap a couple cities in the ordering, something like that little changes. Um, and usually people implement, usually there's so many neighbors in hill climbing that you don't instantiate all of them and pick the best, although sometimes people do. Um, oftentimes there's so many children that people generate them one at a time, and as soon as they find one that's better than the current solution, you move there. So in this little one-dimensional example, there, there are only two neighbors. Um, there's the one on the left and the one on the right. <laughs> so that's the neighborhood. And so hill climbing goes to a better solution in the local neighborhood. Um, does everyone understand what neighborhood means now? I, I really didn't talk about it much last time. Um, OK, so what does that mean in the context of a GA then? Um, what's the neighborhood here 
for a GA? This is a little kind of a weird question, but there is an operator, like single point crossover, that we're doing. Um, and so I guess the neighborhood, if we want to think about it as the reachable solutions, or the, then um, the neighborhood would be all possible children that you could make by one point crossover from these parents. And <coughs> except usually GAs don't explore the entire neighborhood. They just do crossover once and then put these guys back in the population and then call the population. Um, so GAs don't usually thoroughly explore the neighborhood when they're considering making a move. With GAs, it's a little weird to talk about a move because you got this whole population. But um, clearly, if these guys make it into the population, if they survive to the next generation, then the population has moved to include these. If you think of the population as like a little tea cozy that we're putting over our search space, um, or a piece of fabric that's draped over the landscape, we're stretching that and maybe even tearing it to cover certain parts of the space. Um, and the places you can get to by one point crossover, that's the neighborhood. Like you cannot go from here to some solution that is, you know, just like one of the solutions in the middle and just like the other one on the sides. Like you cannot get there from here because that requires two point crossover. Um, so that solution is not reachable. It's not in the neighborhood. So Nathan, is this making sense? Yeah. Okay. Is it consistent with yeah. your in, the, okay? Yeah. Oh, do you know what a tea cozy is? It's one of these old-fashioned things that uh, you know your grandparents probably had. Um, you put it on your teapot to keep the teapot warm. Okay. It's a it's a little cover, usually quilted. Okay. Yeah. You never know how you're going to connect with different students. Uh, 